Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. If you saw last week's video, um, or Friday's video, uh, we had a major failure on this trunnion wheel. We did some repair welds to it, um, and then at the end of the video you saw a big chunk came out, and I didn't see it coming. I really didn't. Uh, everything looked good until the last pass. I had 20 thousandths left. So I got thinking about it, thinking about it quite a bit. Um, I have a couple of these ultrasonic thickness gauges. And I have these um, because I, I'm in the steam, steam, historic steam engine community. Um, I have a Baker traction engine. I, I help out uh, with a Nichols and Shepard regularly. I got a friend with a Russell just down the road. I mean, I, I'm in with getting in with these uh, steam engines more and more. And so we use these for some of our state certification, but also for testing engines before you buy them, you wanna check the boiler thickness. Well, I got thinking, I wonder if this will show us any subsurface shelling, any cracks under the surface. So let's get the camera in here, let's uh, set up, and let's do some, do some measuring and see if we can see these problems um, and see if this is a viable tool moving forward on doing these. Okay, so we've got our ultrasonic thickness gauge. I bought this on eBay, they're really inexpensive. Um, I think they were like 100 bucks at the time. I have two of them in case one would crap out on me while I'm out uh, doing a boiler or whatever. Um, so I have two of them. And uh, this has been tested against a really high dollar one. Um, and we're, like I said, we're spot on. This is a good machine. So the first thing you need to do is turn it on. Hey, it powered up. Now you need a couplant, something to uh, transmit the sound through. And I just use grease. Um, and I, you know, you document all this stuff when you do it. If it's something that uh, needs to be inspected, you document everything, document what you used, how you did it. Now we need to calibrate our machine. So you push the calibrate button, touch it on. 197, that's what this little gauge block is here. So we're good. Now, now you gotta touch it and see if you make contact. And what you're looking for, hmm, not making contact. There we go. So right here, 1170. And what you're looking for is up in the corner here. Let me see if we can get in there. There's a little, it's like a radio tower transmitting. That's what you're looking for. That tells you you're making a good connection. Now, here's where I welded. Let's see if I can get a connection here. And I might not. The weld might be slightly porous or something, but, oh. And that's the hard part with doing like a boiler is you gotta, there's so many curves and stuff. That's part of it too, is the curves will fight you. Of course I got a chunk of crap under there. Keeping your, your probe clean is a, another key thing. Keep, keep your shop towels handy. Let's uh, wipe that off and try again. So I got a little chunk of dirt in there. So let's test right here. Okay, I got a good pad signal. One one seventeen. That's good there. Let's go over to a spot that I know is bad. Let's let's try right here. One ninety three. So that is showing us our subsurface cracking. Let's uh, let's do a few more spots and just see.
we can make contact here. Let me roll the wheel a little bit. 188, oh, 95 thousandths, 173. So yeah, we have got some serious cracking going on under there. And you can see it, but let's try this spot right here. That's a good spot. And that's not. I moved just a little, so there, I'm right on the edge of the crack. Oh, there's a crack there, too. So, it, <laughs> it definitely works. Let's see if we can get a spot in about the center of the wheel that'll show us the, the full thickness. Showing a crack there too, 173 deep. This isn't looking too promising, is it? Hmm, this thing's in really tough shape and I'm not going very far. Yep, we're still good. 198 on the gauge block. Wow, there must be a big layer right here that's just bad. All right, let's roll this wheel around a little bit. Let's try to get to a spot that might be good. But I'm thinking this thing's just totally shot. Hmm. Yeah, we got. Some pretty major trouble going on here. So, <laughs> it looks like I could probably machine this whole thing down about 3 16 and I would get through the cracks. So it's, it's pretty much garbage. I mean, we could do it and then build it back up, but I don't know that it's worth it. So there you have it, proof of concept. Um, this is a viable testing uh, tool to find out if that would, been, would have been feasible to fix it. Um, I wish I would have thought of it sooner, um, but I am quoting making two new ones for the customer, so we'll see how that goes if, uh, if I get the bid or not. Um, we'll see. So again, these, these are very inexpensive, got it on eBay, bring it in, our lighting, I mean, pretty simple little tool. Um, and I've used the crap out of this thing already, so pretty awesome. Anyway, um, so that, that just proved it. Let's, uh, we're going to do this moving forward. Shouldn't have this problem again. So um, you can visit our website, www.toppermachine.com, and please like, subscribe, and share. Stay with us, see what's next, and hopefully you can learn something. So until next time, get out in your shop, and get it done right the first time.